episode, we are going to show you the coffee culture of Greece. That's right. So in Greece, coffee is not just a coffee culture, it's a lifestyle here. <laughs> People drink coffee all day long, whether you're sitting at the cafe, uh, at the cafe Neo, you sit at the cafe Neo, just sipping your coffee for a few hours. You know, you got the, the classic, you got the old men sitting there playing backgammon or, you know, messing around with the worry beats. You hear the snapping around. That's one thing. If you're in Athens, you hear that snapping around. Or just the, the takeaway coffee culture. You see people on the go, coffee all the time. So we're going to check out the four major styles of coffee here in Greece. Uh, very popular. We're going to do it sitting down and we're going to do it takeaway. And there's also a terminology you have to know. If you want to do it like a good Greek, like I'm trying to be, <laughs> uh, you have, you know, no sugar, it's called sketos. That's no sugar at all. Then you got metrios, medium sugar. Which and, I like. Yes, that's Jumi style. Mm -hmm. Then you have glycos. Glycos is sweet. So think glucose, right? Glucos, glycos, you know. Greek language, old language, right? A lot of stuff comes from it. We're gonna do four different coffee styles. We're gonna do the classic Greek coffee. We're gonna do frappe. Fredo Cappuccino, Fredo Espresso. So that's the four major types of Greek coffee you'll have to know when you come to Greece. Let's do it. Yes. We are here at Moka in the center of Athens, right near Ammonia, right near the Central Market. It's a famous place because they do Greek coffee in the traditional way. But before we get into that, what is Greek coffee? So Greek coffee, it's cold water, they mix the coffee and they heat it so it's unfiltered. So you have the coffee sediment rest at the bottom, the foam rises to the top. The foam is very desired in the coffee, it's called kaimaki. They do it here in a really special way. They heat it on the sand. It's a really hot surface and sand, and you see they have the bricky right here. They call it bricky. And this is called e brick, the, the Turkish coffee. That's the thing. So, that's another thing about Greek coffee that you're gonna find this style of coffee in several places. A lot of people may know Turkish coffee, it's a similar concept. And in the Balkans, Bosnia, Croatia, I mean, a lot of these different countries, they do similar methods. You know, you gotta trace back all the history. We're not gonna get into all that, though. It's very complex, right? So, here we go. Mm, so good. Let's take a sip. Mm. Such a luscious, thick, very strong. We got this one, uh, Sketos. So that means no sugar. Mm. It's very smooth as well. You know, we drink Greek coffee a lot. We even have our own briki at home. Not as fancy as this. Not as fancy as this briki at home. Maybe we should, because this is beautiful. But we also need that whole apparatus with the sand and the heat. But we have our own at home. We really enjoy it. It's nice to not have a coffee maker. It's a very old school method, classic method of making coffee. Really appreciate that. It's actually the first Greek coffee we had outside here in Greece. We drink a lot of another type of coffee, which we're going to get into later. Alright, so Fredo is such a popular drink here. So there's two types of Fredo. We're going to get into the other one later. Wait, this is the Fredo Cappuccino. And I was first introduced to Fredo Cappuccino by my cousin right here in Athens, actually, back in 2012. So I ordered another coffee drink. The frappe, which we'll also talk about later. And then my cousin ordered the Fredo. I'm like, what's a Fredo? And he's like, oh, this is the coffee that everybody's drinking at now. And it's true. You see everybody, especially on takeaway, but we ordered it here to stay. So a Fredo, you have espresso shot with ice. And then the cappuccino version here, it's like a regular cappuccino. There's foam milk on top. So they, they blend it all together. You get this beautiful foam on top. So you have that white foam, you have the dark coffee. Then you mix together, you have that nice tan in the middle. So Fredo is really, when you come to Greece, you have to drink Fredo. You have to, it's on ice, so it's a cool drink. So 
we have here, we have frappe. Frappe is a classic Greek iced coffee. The story behind it is pretty funny. It was founded by accident, like a lot of good things are. A employee of Nestle, his name is Dimitrios. He did not have hot water at the time to mix with the Nescafe. So frappe is made with Nescafe instant coffee. So he used cold water ice cubes, shook it up, and that's how the frappe was born. So that's how you get this beautiful foam on top. So that's the thing, um, it was really popular for a long time. Now it's much less popular due to the rise of the Fredo, but it's still a prominent drink. So we got this the frappe, we got it metrios with medium sugar. And it's been a while since I've had this, so I'm gonna have it here in Greece for some in a while. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. That's it. Mm. That's strong. You definitely taste that it's not a freshly made coffee, for sure. Especially the more freddo you drink, the more you realize that it's not freshly ground coffee. But it's still, it's still a um, satisfying drink. It almost has like a chocolatey feel with this thick foam. It's served on ice, especially for the often hot weather here in Greece in the summertime and spring. It's definitely one of those refreshing coffees to have. This is another option to add to your repertoire. Definitely try it at least once. You may prefer the freshly made coffees, but it's definitely worth trying. It's a classic piece of Greek coffee culture. So what we have here, it's our fourth and final coffee in this video. It's actually my favorite of the four is Fredo Espresso. So you, <laughs> and my favorite too. Definitely. So you may remember earlier we had the Fredo Cappuccino. So this is very similar. It has the freshly made espresso shots in the bottom. And then it's blended to give it that nice foam. So it's hot coffee mixed with the ice. That's how you get that really nice foam. We also got this Metrios. I usually would get it Sketos without sugar. But it's a compromise. Jumi likes it that way. Why not, right? Oh, mm. oh, that fresh coffee flavor. Absolutely love that. Um, this one you just kind of carry around. If you don't want dairy, this is the difference between this, the Fredo Espresso and the Fredo Cappuccino. This is the one to get. It's also the takeaway is much cheaper. So we got this from Coffee Island. Coffee Island is a popular chain here in Greece. I guess you want to call it, it's kind of like a Starbucks -y equivalent in Greece, I guess. Um, but it's it's born here in Greece. That's the beauty that this chain is born in Greece. I believe they have locations in Canada. I hope they come to New York City too. Love to have access to the Espresso Espresso all the time. You know, we're in New York City. We can only really get it at a couple of Greek cafes, and we have to go to Astoria for that. So it'd be awesome if the Greek coffee culture will expand to the United States. But this one is great. This one, you get your espresso. You take it on the go on ice. Get a nice foam. So refreshing. Covered four of the most well-known coffees in Greece. We had the classic Greek coffee. The only one that we had that was hot. We had the Fredo Cappuccino, Frappe, and Fredo Espresso. So it's definitely worth trying all four, especially if you come to Greece. If you live in an area that has Greek cafes, Greek community, any access to it, try them all, see what you think. Let us know in the comments if you had any of these coffees before. Uh, which one is your favorite? Or if you have favorite Greek coffee spot wherever you are watching this or in Greece let us know we will always come back to Greece and we for sure will hit the link. recommend it to us comment down below let us know we hope you enjoyed this hope you learned more about the Greek coffee culture here and the types of coffee you can get in Greece thank but you so much for watching coffee is a way of life in Greece yeah coffee is definitely a way of life here in Greece thank you so kindly for watching we hope you enjoyed this video Karisto. Parakalo, uh, smash that like button for us. Subscribe, hit the bell. You want to be the first to comment, right? Yes, yes you, you do. do. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Peace. Karisto, parakalo. Karisto.